Hey, what's going on everyone? Great Dan's been here, and today I want to do a little audio audacity tutorial for all you newbie boobies out there trying to make your sound quality a little better, make your video sound a little more closer to professional. So pretty much what I want to talk about first is your hardware. Don't use your laptop mic or some crappy mic or your like Astro mic. It's not going to work very well. Your, your sound quality is going to be kind of poo. You don't want to really use that. So what I do suggest is you buy a decent microphone, a good bang for your buck. I suggest when you're first starting out is a blue snowball. That's what I'm currently using. Uh, you want to get yourself a pop filter as well. I think these things run about, I think the blue snowball runs about 80 bucks, maybe a little bit cheaper. I bought it a few years ago and it was more expensive, but it's a pretty good introductory mic and I do suggest it. And you get a pop filter so you can, you know, mine some of your P's and Q's. You don't get those popping sounds. Um, actually, my dog chewed up my pop filter, so I currently don't have one. I need to get one. They're not expensive. I just haven't gotten around to get another one. So what I'm using is a, is a cheap stopgap. I'm just putting a sock over my blue snowball. I know it sounds a little, uh, <laughs> sounds a little cheap, but whatever. It does get the job done. It does help with some of the sounds. So now we get the hardware stuff out of the way. Now we're gonna look at the software stuff. So pretty much what you want to do first is you want to put a new track in, and you want to put stereo track because it gives you the two tracks here. Gives you a little more uh, sustenance in your voice. We go here, and what we also are going to do is when we, before we start recording, we're going to actually let a few seconds go by, because we're going to need that later in the in the noise uh, reduction. So we're just going to let it go for a few seconds. And then we're going to talk, and we're going to say like, hey, how's it going? My name is The Great Dansby. Hey, like, rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. So then we're going to hit stop. So we're going to play that back so you can hear what what that currently sounds like. And then we're going to talk and we're going to say like, hey, how's it going? My name is The Great Dansby. Hey, like, rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. So that was about that. That's that. So what we're going to do now is we are going to... Highlight all the area here that was the dead noise. You're going to go into effect, go into noise reduction, and you're going to go get noise profile. So it's sampling this area and it's going to try to remove these noises from your record from when you're talking or speaking. <laughs> so then we're going to do, we're going to file, we're going to go select all. We're going to go down to effect. We're going to go back down to noise reduction. And this time we're going to actually apply it by hitting OK over here. So these are the settings I'm using right now. These might be the default settings. I honestly don't remember. I may have messed around with these, but if not, these are ones that I use, so you can use these or free for you to move around a little bit. Then you hit OK. And a new track came in. That was weird. Huh? Let, me, let me put it that way. And as you can see, it has smoothed out. So those noises are actually going to be gone. So what I'm going to do right now, actually, is I'm going to delete this. And now you can hear what it sounds like with the noise reduction. And then we're going to talk. I'm going to say, like, Hey, how's it going? My name is The Great Dansby. Hey, like, rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I can already hear a slight difference. There isn't like that white noise in my background that you can hear from like the traffic outside. I live in New York City. I live right actually by a highway and a train station. So you can hear both those things. You know, I can hear them. And that means if I can hear them, you guys can probably hear them a little bit as well. So we, we did that. So to even take this further, what, what I usually do is I will, again, I will select all. And I go into effect. Now I'll start going into equalization. So equalizations, I will. Uh, you know what? Let me do this first, actually. So, so we can we can see the difference. So this is the only thing that's going to be on this one is the noise reduction. So I am going to actually let me copy this. Like a little copy, copy, and we're going to paste it in here. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Can I not do that? I can. Okay, I'm going to paste that here. So this is going to be our, our non-edit, and this is going to be our one that we edit. So we have everything selected already. That's that's nice. <laughs> so we're going to equalization. What I usually like to do is I usually bump up my trebles, get those high-end towns sounds coming out a little bit more. And that was a quick one. So I went like that. And then, I mean, I would show you, you all, them all, you know, individually, but I don't really think it makes that much of a difference to do that. Just show it to you all, you all at once. Make this video a little more condensed. So after we did the treble boost, we go back into equalization. And then I actually, some people use bass boost. I, when I, bass boost, bass boost, this is the line here. A lot of people use this. It's a pretty good one. 
I actually like this one because it goes better with my sexy morning voice. So it's not quite as shrill, so you don't have to do this. You can mess around with these as well. This is what I like to do, and I will apply that. You see it got a little fatter, but you also don't want these long peaks here. So when you have these long peaks here, it's a little much. You, you know, you get some more uh, sound of your voice isn't compressed. So that's the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to go into everything still selected. We're going to go back into effects and go all the way down to compressor. And you can preview it if you like. I'm not going to. I'm just going to hit OK. And for some reason it went up. That was interesting. Let's try that again. Huh. Interesting. Usually it actually gets smaller. I don't understand what the hell's going on right there. <laughs> That's weird. But let's see. Let's just see how it sounds. And then we're going to talk. I'm going to say like, hey, how's it going? My name is the great Dan's Hayes. Like, rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. As you can see, or here I should say, the voice quality is much, much better. But we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison right now just to show you one more time. So this is the original file. And then we're going to talk, I'm going to say like, hey, how's it going? My name is The Great Dansby. Hey, like, rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And this is the edit file. Whoop. <laughs> and then we're going to talk, I'm going to say like, hey, how's it going? My name is The Great Dansby. Hey, like, rate, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Very big difference in the voice quality. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. If it helped, please do me a favor, leave me a like, some comments, and subscribe. And hopefully I will catch you all soon. Later.